Women's Month is one of the most, for me, important months in the South African calendar. I think that it's very important that every year we take stock of how much we've achieved, where we come from as women, and what the women achieved back in 1956. It's such an iconic month. I'm inspired by South African women because they are able to make something out of nothing, you know. I know so many stories of women who were able to take children to school without much, who were able to support themselves, get an education, who've worked from the bottom and all the way up. I know of women who are great leaders in communities, in business. I'm inspired by the wonderful sports women in our country, as well as women in entertainment, in politics. I just think South African women are among some of the most ambitious in the world. The women I interviewed for this year's Women's Month are very dynamic. I've actually spoken to a young lady from the Eastern Cape who happens to be the youngest neurosurgeon in Africa and a politician who is young and dynamic who actually, I think in my view, when a young girl is looking at her, would really want to say, one day I would love to be a politician. You know, she's somebody who's passionate and is of service to people in her province. The other woman I spoke to is somebody who's very dynamic. She's got a lot of energy. She loves the music. She's a DJ. She's entrepreneurial. She's ambitious and she's a lot of fun, which was a great interview that I had with her. And another one was a winemaker, you know, somebody who's respected both locally and internationally. She's known to make very beautiful and great quality wines. When I look at where South African women potentially could be in 10 years, I really see an increase in numbers when it comes to them being leaders. My advice for women who are looking to start their own businesses is that you have to do something that you love. You know, it's very important that you wake up in the morning and you feel good about what you do. Well, it is important that we keep on having these conversations because we need to remind ourselves, obviously, of how far we've come. And we need to hear different voices, you know, talk to different leaders and in industries who happen to be female and for those who are coming uh, behind us to know what is possible in their lifetime and even beyond this. We have to remind ourselves to dream big we have to remind ourselves of what could be of this country and that we play an important role in making South Africa a better country for all of us.